Scientists estimate that insect pests destroy about 20% of the world's total crop production, and that this damage will likely increase as a warming climate extends their range and increases their ability to survive through the winter. This is a very real problem for the vegetable gardener. On the other hand, thousands of insect species are spiraling towards extinction within a century. Industrial agriculture is the primary cause of this collapse. Insects are an essential part of almost all of Earth's ecosystems, and less than one half of 1% of known insect species are pests. So what can the home gardener do to protect your crops without damage to the natural environment? Spawning insecticides are commonly used in commercial farming. They seem like an easy answer, but they're expensive and dangerous to the person spraying. The residues on food are harmful, especially to children eating fruits and vegetables that have been sprayed. Insecticides also kill or weaken a lot of non-target creatures, especially honeybees, amphibians, and birds. And because insect pests quickly build up resistance to the insecticides, they often only work for a short time. Over 500 species of insect pests already have genetic resistance to some insecticides. So insecticides are rarely the right choice for kitchen gardeners. Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, is a much better approach. This means using a mix of different strategies, starting with the safest and simplest ones. If these strategies fail, you take progressively stronger measures until your insect problem is under control. These strategies, roughly in the order they should be used, include the following. One, remember that plants growing in healthy soil have fewer insect problems. Two, accept that some insect damage is unavoidable. Three, grow a complex mixture of plants, including some aromatic herbs, like tansy, rue, marigold, and pennyroyal. This confuses the insect's ability to locate their targets. Four, welcome the birds, lizards, frogs, turtles, bats, and toads that eat harmful insects. Ponds, birdhouses, and perches, and small toad houses made from clay pots can make your garden much more attractive to these biological insect controls. Five, pick insects by hand. Some insect pests, like Japanese beetles, are easy to shake off plants into a pail of water. They can then be fed to chickens or composted. Early morning is when most insects are the slowest and easiest to pick. Six, use physical barriers, such as floating row covers, to protect your plants. This is especially useful when the plants are young and tender. If you still need greater control over insect pests, try making this safe, low-cost repellent. It will help chase off deer and rabbits, as well as insects, from eating your garden plants. Here's how. Put about one liter of water in a blender and add a tablespoon each of pennyroyal or mint leaves, garlic or onion, chili powder, and tobacco. Blend these for about a half a minute and then strain through a cloth. If you don't have a blender, just put the same ingredients in a gallon jar and leave it in the sun for a day or two. Then strain the liquid and spray. Pour this mixture into a sprayer Add one drop of soap to help the repellent stick to the leaves. Spray this on any plants that are in danger of insect attack. Morning shoes are the best time to spray. If you don't have a sprayer, don't worry. You can just put the repellent in a bucket, then dip a brush into the bucket and spray the repellent on the leaves with a flip of your wrist. If you still aren't able to control the insect damage, there are a few safe insecticides approved for organic gardening that can be used as a last resort. Two of the safest of these are Bt and neem oil. Bt, or Bacillus thuringiensis, is made from a type of soil bacteria and it targets caterpillars. It's often sold as dipel or thuricide. Neem oil is made from the seeds 
of a common tropical tree. It's a more general insecticide, and it works on more than 200 species of insect pests. Neem oil also offers some protection from fungal diseases. The insect repellent and Bt and neem are not very toxic, but it's a good idea to wait a few days after spraying and then to wash crops carefully before eating them. Insect damage is definitely a serious problem, but the integrated pest management approach allows the gardener to work with nature instead of fighting against it, to find ecologically sound solutions. For most people, this is a more interesting and enjoyable way to grow vegetables. Thanks for watching.